Welcome to Proactive Prudence. In this video, we'll be studying about epithelium, its tissues, and what are the different uh, uh, definition of it, uh, the classifications that are being placed under epithelium tissue, and the description of each of the classification with examples and the functions of them. So, firstly, what is epithelium? Epithelium tissue is one of the four main types of uh, body tissue. So there are four main types, uh, which is com uh, one, four main types of tissues, which is mainly composed of epithelium, connective tissue, muscular tissue, and nervous tissue. So in this uh, video, we'll be studying about the epithelium tissue. So it has several different structures and functions depending upon where exactly it is placed in your body. So the epithelium is a type of body tissue that forms the covering on all internal as well as external surfaces of uh, your body. So here you can see that the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium respiratory tract is observed. Then you can see simple squamous epithelium which is in the air sacs of lung then simple cuboidal epithelium in the kidneys simple columnar which is present in the intestine and stratified squamous epithelium in the esophagus now so that covers the uh, the different uh, types of tissues that is pre uh, present in our body system now let's move on to the next part which is it is highly specialized uh, and it performs certain functions like protection absorption and secretion the epithelium are closely fitted to the basement membrane to form a epithelial membrane the epithelial membrane is devoid it doesn't have any blood vessels and it, uh, it obtains nutrition from diffusion from the adjacent capillaries and the tissue fluids. The epithelium tissue is covered on the body surfaces and in the lining of uh, the hollow cavities that is present in the gut, respiratory system, blood vessels and uh, they form a kind of a surface covering to the body surfaces. Uh, now you can see there is a picture of an epithelium tissue there is the epithelium on the basement membrane and below which you can observe a connective tissue as well as blood vessels epithelium tissue has a variety of functions depending on where it is located in our body so epithelium tissue is made up of epithelial cell so these cells are of different shapes and are arranged in single layers or multiple layers depending upon what kind of function it is performing so in the picture, we can observe that there is a cell uh, which is epithelial cell. These epithelial cells have cell membrane, a nucleus, and a cytoplasm. When uh, they are arranged in simple, uh, in the form of simple squamous or simple columnar with cilia or microvilli on them on top of the cells, then we have stratified squamous, simple cuboidal, stratified cuboidal, transitional, uh, stratified columnar, and pseudostratified columna so these are the different types of epithelium uh, we we can observe based upon the function or where it, where exactly it is being placed then we have various types of epithelium so this is the classification part and these are uh, the, the type of epithelium is determined on the function that it is performing so based on shape uh, there is squamous epithelium cuboidal and columnar so you can see a uh, picture beside uh, there are squamous like squamous epithelial cells which are flat and sheet like in appearance then cuboidal which are cube like in appearance and the columnar epithelium which are like columns moving to the next type based upon the arrangement so in the simple form there is only one layer of cell in the stratified form there are th this is made up of many layers which is one on top of the other uh, in a pseudo stratified uh, it is closely packed cell that appears to be arranged in layers but when they are pulled out they appear like if you stretch the uh, basement membrane it appears to be just one layer so that is based upon the type of their arrangement going to the third type which is based upon the uh, the body uh, surface where it is being placed 
So in simple squamous epithelium, the epithelium uh, lines the blood vessels and the body cavities. It helps in regulation of the or the passage of the substance from the underlying tissue to the inner lumens of the body cavities or the blood vessels. Simple cuboidal is placed near the glandular tissues and the uh, kidney tubules where they are functionally involved in either secretions or absorptions okay so the next type is simple columnar epithelium which is mainly involved in absorption and is like they have a, uh, epical cilia or microvilli epical is a to on the top layer of the cells there is appearance of cilia or microvilli which mainly are involved in absorption then comes the stratified squamous epithelium which is based upon the protective function and it protects the, uh, against microorganism uh, like preventing them from invasion into the tissues and also it protects against water loss so it protects against the excess water water being lost from the skin uh, body parts so next the uh, stratified cuboidal epithelium it is not so common but are found in the excretory ducts of salivary and sweat glands ne next comes the stratified columnar epithelium so this epithelium is not so common and is seen in the mucous membrane lining uh, or the, in the eyelids where it is both protective and mucus secreting then comes the pseudo stratified columnar which is another type of epithelium which lines the upper respiratory tract and doesn't have so uh, has so much of cilia so that is pseudo stratified columnar epithelium so based on the specialized functions what the epithelium cells perform uh, these are uh, further classified as transitional epithelium so in a transitional epithelium it consists of several layers and that they, they become flattened when they are stressed uh, stretched so when the basement membrane is stretched or pulled to pulled at opposite sides these uh, uh, cells which look like layers when uh, when they are at normal uh, normal no, no tension time uh, they are at, in the form of layers but when they are stretched out they appear to be a one single layer so usually they are found in the urinary tract which allow the bladder to ex, uh, expand the, next comes the glandular epithelium so this type of epithelium is involved in producing and secreting certain substances so it is found in organs where that are uh, involved in storage and release of substances like hormones proteins and water next comes the olfactory epithelium which is usually loca located near the nasal cavity so these olfactory receptors which have specialized cilia extension these cilia trap the odor molecule in uh, when you breathe in uh, breathe in air and they move from the cilia into the epithelial surface so this uh, uh, the this uh, odor that molecule that is present in the epithelial surface is sent through the receptors into the olfactory bulb in the brain so where the, that is how the smell is being um, interpreted by the brain and that is how you recognize the smell or the smell of the certain substances so that is olfactory epithelium going to the last part which is functions of epithelial cell so the function of epithelial cell is protection secretion and absorption so it protects several aspects of our body it secretes in, uh, secretes um, enzymes hormones and fluids and it absorbs food that is being eaten so it absorbs nutrients from the food the, so the, those are the functions of epithelial tissue moving to the next function which is excretion it is it is usually involved in removal of waste from the body so uh, these epithelial tissues present in the kidneys excrete waste by absorbing the waste from the uh, uh, blood then comes the filtration so the epithelium in the uh, respiratory tract filters out the dirt and the particles and cleans the air that we breathe in a diffusion 
So simple squamous epithelium cells are involved in diffusion, which uh, allows selective materials to pass through it. It helps in filtration, absorption, and secretion functions as well. Then comes the sensory reception, like we saw in the olfactory epithelium, there the cilia uh, absorbs the odor molecule. Similarly, these uh, the, the sensory nerve endings that are being placed near the epithelium tissue allow the body to receive any outside sensory stimuli. So when the epithelium of the skin touches the hot plate of your hand, uh, hot plate from your hand, receive certain stim life to your body to take uh, take your hand from the hot plate so that's how a sensory reception works so even taste buds are embedded in your st uh, starified squamous epithelium which helps you taste the food so that completes the functions of the epithelium so this is how we classify uh, define and uh, interpret the functions of the epithelium tissue so this completes the video i hope you like the video do subscribe to the channel to receive updates on the uh, various uh, syllabus related videos that are going to be updated in this youtube channel thank you